Playing heads up poker in terms of chip count. On this hand, James is going to raise with just a 6-3. Well, he believes in position raising, that's for sure, if he's raising with this hand. Dylan just calls with the ace high. So we're going to have a flop here. The flop is queen, 7-4. No help for either player. Does give James a gut shot straight draw. Dylan's going to check it. And here comes the continuation bet, 600,000. Dylan call. just going to call him with the ace high here. Maybe he thinks ace high is good. In fact, it is. Eight of, well, eight of spade comes off. Now, this gives Dylan a four flush. He's going to check. And look at this. James is going to fire another shell, Vince. He is not slowing down. He knows to win this hand, he's just got to bluff at it. Dylan with a nut flush draw. What is Dylan now? Stretching his neck, see how many chips his opponent has. This is something that's mind-boggling to me. You're playing heads up, you have to know how many chips are in play. Just count your own chips, you know how many chips your opponent has. Well, Dylan is going to make the call here for 1.4 million. River card doesn't get the spade. Eight pairs the board. But believe it or not, Dylan's still in front with the ace high. Well, he's checked. Now, Vince, a long time ago, Stu Unger told me, a lot of guys will bluff at a pot. Some will fire two shells. There's not many that'll fire three. Well, James Carroll is firing three shells big time here. 2.9 million. Got to have a lot of nerve to do that. Online specialist for a title making that kind of bet. Vince, can you call three million with ace high? No.